thank you very much to give me the chance to speak uh, about the in uh, material flow here. Um, I also uh, moved to Australia to live from now on. So uh, this is a very good chance to uh, come here to add the like uh, first coming to Melbourne. Thank you very much. So uh, today uh, I would like to uh, present you the way we do the architecture. We Mm, in deep my, my insight, I feel like uh, the we do a job like, as an architect. Anyway, we we destroy our planet, destroy the nature by doing the construction activities. So at the beginning, I thought is uh, we should uh, minimize the impact to our the planet and how we can um, deal with the climate change. I was born in a, a village uh, in the border of the fighting between uh, America and uh, uh, Vietnam, and then with our electric city. And it was very hot every summer, like uh, 40 degrees Celsius, which is happened in the UK at the moment. So. But without electric city, even without fan, right? And then I know the way how to deal with the hotness uh, there and living without uh, 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 electric city. That means the minimum, uh, very minimum of the uh, using energy to, to live. And um, uh, yes, and then at night without electric city and we have to go to sleep early at about 8 p.m. and wake up when it's become bright. And uh, when I go to Japan uh, in 2000, uh, no, uh, 1996, and I was surprised with the huge forests and greenery in Japan. And they have a lot of timber to use for construction material because uh, they need to use about two million uh, cubic meter for a year for construction material because uh, they need to redo their forests and then they encourage the the uh, uh, local government to build the school in uh, by timber because they, they have more than enough the timber for their country. And then I came back to Vietnam, which is a good thing, is a lot of forest and farm, but in Ho Chi Minh or Hanoi, the uh, area for only 0.7 square meter per person for, for the, the, the greenery, which is the lowest, almost lowest in the world, so we, um, so I start to do my um, uh, architecture firm in 2006, and we we think is we should build a country with uh, like uh, more greenery, more uh, park in the city, not like whole concrete. I will show you later, and then today I would like to show you the a. Uh, some type of material we are using. First is about the green. We use at a uh, material element and main element in our architecture. And um, the, here is the farm for the kindergarten, farming kindergarten. And I try to don't use the hardwood from tropical forest because uh, the they cut almost all of the forest from Vietnam to Laos to Cambodia uh, to, and to export the furniture or something like that. And then we, the uh, green area in Vietnam is reducing very fast and we, we don't have much forest uh, and uh, wood anymore. So this project is, uh, we, this is planted uh, timber from, uh, import from New Zealand. 
And I think it's the same situation in Japan. We need to use this kind of uh, timber to, 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 uh, to um, protect the environment. And we use the ram earth. And each uh, project of us is like a small park for the bird, for the city, and uh, like to, uh, to have the, f uh, the vegetable farm in our, our home. And here is about uh, the combination of uh, bamboo and um, ram earth. And here, let me start with uh, uh, this bamboo and the dome. We use this for, for school, for restaurant, for uh, community center. And let me start with the green first. In this situation, uh, almost Asian uh, big city like Jakarta, Bangkok, and especially Hanoi or Ho Chi Minh City. This is a situation of, uh, then there are more, more than 10 million uh, people living in Ho Chi Minh City. And um, this uh, lacking of greenery. This is a real situation in Vietnam with like a huge amount, a huge city without, uh, with very less of green. And we try to reintroduce the greenery to the city by each project, like the master plan uh, with uh, farming on rooftop, greenery, the city, and we uh, try to use a solar panel, recycle water to make the city green again. And I will introduce you the uh, uh, one by one, even small project. We try to make it like uh, to become a ecological ecological system to uh, recycle water, to use the solar panel, to vent ventilate them, to introduce the farm on the rooftop, the green. And then thank to this system, during the, the pandemic, the, the, the quarantine in Vietnam is really strict. And then they can enjoy their garden, their farm, their, uh, the fresh air of uh, ventilation. And, uh, this is, uh, I designed this house for the friend who had the uh, mental problem. So this is the most uh, difficult to live in because uh, uh, the, from bedroom to the restroom, we need to go out and then because she, he like want to be alone in a room. So we want to take him out to, uh, to, uh, to communicate with the nature, with the bird come here, like because here, like became like a uh, forest, small, small park for the bird coming, it's singing all the time and he got angry with that. And then he, he, he become, become, uh, became a little bit normal it, and now healthy in terms of the, uh, his uh, uh, health, uh, mental problem. And we use here is the uh, bamboo formwork concrete. This we make by this way. Um, the space is, the house itself is like the, we plant very big tree on rooftop and make it like a small park in the middle of the concrete jungle. And uh, yes, and then, then in the middle we have very big uh, courtyards for the uh, activity, outside activity. And here is another <coughs> project is we call farming kindergarten in uh, uh, near Ho Chi Minh City which is lacking up the greenery. So this is uh, a farming kindergarten for the very uh, low income worker who work for the factory be, uh, there. It's a shoe factory. It's about 23,000 workers who, is, uh, who are making shoes. And their kid is uh, uh, learning at this uh, 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 kindergarten, and we make it like huge uh, 
activity rooftop like a for farming and it continues to the uh, the the courtyards and to the nature around because whole city is like concrete and motorbike and no place for the for the kid so we try to maximize the area for the the kid to and because their the parent is not 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 rich and then they come here to plant the vegetable for for their kid in the uh, and to uh, enjoy an activity with the the children here and the building with three courtyards it connect together and continuous to the rooftop and come back and the 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 uh, children here can enjoy the activity of the making the uh, 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 farm on the rooftop with their uh, um, their parents and also the uh, um, they can enjoy the uh, the culture, uh, the uh, uh, agriculture activity, and they can plan by themselves too. Um, here is another project, is a uh, uh, in, uh, the academy uh, project, the uni kind of university, and then we also try to make the classroom in the middle of the uh, uh, forest. This type of uh, the tree is grow very tall, like eight, like same level of the eight floor of the building, and then we plan it, and we put the class, the box of the classroom in the middle of that uh, 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 big huge tree. Now it's become very became very big, and put the pot, the tree, on the, uh, in the middle of that. Uh, uh, forest, and we connect it by the concrete roof, but we also plant the tree on the rooftop of the, the building. And then finally, we would like to have like a even high density of the building, but we, because the tree go very straight uh, up, and then that's why we can achieve the high density of the university building, but can be under the tree, like like we put the classroom inside the, the, the big tree. And then the image of the uh, building is like this, and the tree now is very tall and make the classroom to be in the middle, of, in the between of the tree. And we use the shadow of the tree and we also use the material like the brick to make uh, the shadow on the wall to make the wall is less hot because it it is super hot in Hanoi, not not like in the UK. It can be more. Uh, it can be like uh, 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 more than forty degrees Celsius every summer. Not not just few days in. Uh, so we also use a, the lake in the center of the, of the building to make the air not very hot with the combination of the ventilation of the greenery, of the water, and then the using of energy is reduced a lot. And here is the entrance uh, space. Uh, and we have the we connect all the boxes by the uh, concrete slab to make the like a roof and the tree come out from there. And here is a hotel in the Da Nang, also a middle city of the Vietnam, and in the middle of the concrete jungle, almost without greenery, we try to make a. A, a a a building with like a lot of greenery to reintroduce the greenery to this area and the it is very simple because we put the concrete box around the building to plant very simple tree 
from the uh, the uh, dust area, and this is uh, the T place for the ground floor. Is uh, the spa space, and here the bedroom. This building is uh, next to the ocean, and the because only less than 700 square meter, we put the pool on the rooftop and we still can make like 153 rooms, a hotel room for the building. And this is another house for, uh, in uh, the same area. We design here like a, the tropical forest on the rooftop with really huge uh, 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 um, a huge pot for the tree on uh, the rooftop and we introduce the um, and we design each box put through to make like vertical ventilation many way to ventilation and this we put the fish pond uh, in the ground floor and to pump up this water for the for the trees and the tree make the the from the tree pot the water the, the many uh, uh, insect come down and then for the fish and then we make the and then we recycle the raining water into the, the the and we use the solar system for the house too and to to, and you can see the section again is uh, we designed this for very good the ventilation for every room, the bedroom, the living room, and the connection between the ground floor, second floor, third floor, and we use the natural sunlight for the <coughs> for the, uh, reducing the electricity for the light too, and the pond and you can see the connection between inside out and, and, and outside and the space and the light and the moving of the light and the wind. I cannot explain well here, but I mean the boxes is for, for example, the bathroom, we have the two-way ventilation and you can see here the from inside out and uh, the vertical connection, the horizontal connection and the light from outside. And we combine here the, the traditional material in Vietnam is brick and the stone wall and the steel for the uh, staircase bridge together. And uh, we introduce the sunlight, not directly, but through the tree on very huge tree on the rooftop to introduce into our space. Uh, yep, here the at this corner is the place to uh, make the uh, solar panel on the wet side. But uh, the client they do liter by liter, and here but they he could finish very huge tropical forest on the, on the rooftop for their children playing. And another house is in Ho Chi Minh City. We try to introduce the many green, many levels. So you can see the section here with easy to, for the uh, ventilation and many layout of the tree, many level of the tree. And then when you are inside the house, you can see many level of the, uh, 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 the tree from the bottom to the leaf or many flower or fruit tree. And they plant vegetable on that garden. And this family, they have two child, uh, the two children, and then they the problem is they play game in their room. So that's why we design the house like 
can see through. Of course, they have their own curtain, but from the master bedroom, you can see through the living room, the kid room, the children room to see, and it connects each other together. Of course, they can close the curtain to be private, but it connecting every member in the house. And then the, the kid, the, the, the son could quit the game, and he, now he is studying at Sydney University. Maybe thanks to this how to, because he, the, the, you know, anywhere is like connecting together with the nature. And then now he entered the, the, the Sydney University already. And you can see from bedroom here, you can see the, uh, the room there and the room over there and the many layout many level of the garden and here is a rooftop uh, uh, bathroom you can have the vegetable garden there the, in your uh, and see from outside the living uh, live uh, the dining room you can see from the master bathroom this and living room and many layout of the garden and another house in uh, Ha Long Bay. We also try to uh, make it like three at a main uh, element of the house and make the vertical forest because the, maybe the situation in Vietnam or Jakarta, uh, Ho Chi Minh or Jakarta or Bangkok or even Beijing is totally different from here. It's, a lot of people in the city, like 10 millions, 20 millions, in one city, like half of the Australian population, half in one city. I mean, so we try to reintroduce the greenery, the nature to the, the, the living space, and the how it look like this, and this is why, how we make the forest around and this uh, the bedroom the living room this is one place from the house uh, from the bedroom and uh, we use here the concrete outside to make the double layout one is the concrete and greenery and one more inside to reduce the hotness hot from the the very uh, uh, hot summer in Vietnam. And this is a timber, uh, is import from New Zealand, the planted timber uh, house. And we design it in very tropo, tropical ways with very deep outside space activity like the cordillera is four, five meter. Uh, the the shadow, and we design a pond, the lotus pond around the house in the rural area, and uh, this is uh, the structure system. The space inside space quality through the corridor, very big uh, corridor around this inside, and another project is a the renovation project now under construction they build a three the like really weird shape so we we start to make a timber roof like uh, by uh, like like this because they, they they done the plan already and we installed the, the, the timber roof to to this and make the space is like really, uh, it's hard to, to, to make the construction because the high, every element is totally different to others. So, but um, this is a, the uh, reception for very huge uh, resort, hotel resort in Nha Trang. And another is a tea place for, uh, 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 the Hugh master plan, and we try to use here the 
ramut and the bamboo together to reduce the uh, uh, energy using for for the building and is we designed a whole other restaurant here and the tea place there and mainly we use the uh, local material for this building and they have some private tea room inside that building and another house here we try to mm, uh, use the ram earth for and the uh, we plan very a little bit weird, but it uh, uh, have a lot of fruit on the rooftop of the building. Um, this uh, two floor ramad building, the house, the bathroom, of course the slab we use the concrete with the ramad together, and the rooftop also by concrete, and another material is uh, we design here is the pottery village in the northern Vietnam and then we the client is doing the uh, pottery business so we try to make the his uh, for his own house by uh, pottery and it's the same language like we make the like a filter uh, from the very ugly landscape around like dirty building is really high humidity and then we make it like one layout from outside the greenery in the middle and we reintroduce the greenery solar panel the reuse the water here and this is very good for the ventilation too and here the living room and the garden and the outside it framing the land the ugly landscape around by this is uh, the detail of the pottery pottery wall and uh, uh, finally we introduce you some uh, bamboo that is uh, a uh, like a community center for a huge resort and like a restaurant and welcome center is about 1000 square meter and um, uh, the bamboo pieces is we can use it just a about four meter, but uh, like um, the we use the really interesting the structure system is built from a one unit, and we control the quality of one unit, and we copy it to many unit of the bamboo. And we don't use the steel joint here. Uh, we use the bamboo joint for making unit. And then we make one circle to be a very huge uh, building. Uh, and the st structure. And the, again, the, with the tropical climate, we introduce the middle space for outside activity and also try to help to reduce the hotness from the uh, hot summer in Vietnam. And here, this building, because the ceiling is tall and the ventilation directly, we put it on the pond, so it no, no air condition uh, for, for this. And we plant the tree around. And let me explain you how to use uh, uh, how to treat the bamboo here the vietnamese uh, bamboo is a small piece but very solid inside and one unit is about two dollar for the and then the weight is light so and we can use the bamboo after five years five years after planting and we can uh, shock it into the the water and smoke it by uh, smoke it and bend and 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 we build it we make it into the unit i i, I taught talk with another bamboo designer in the world and uh, the way i do is i don't want to have any problem during my i i still alive 
So I, I told them, you make enough job for your whole life because you need a lot of maintenance. But in my case, is uh, we control like systematically in the unit to make it precise, and we treat it in the natural, uh, traditional way to make it long life, like the way uh, in they use the bamboo in Japan or somewhere. So we try to build it in unit and control that, and we can replace if any problem happen. And we make it like simple, easy system of the structure. And for example, here is another example is we use like a HP shell for the structure. Every element is straight, but it curve when we make it into the uh, HP cell structure. And here, the, because the, this is a really small island, just 2,000 square meter, the land we can use. So we built five uh, bungalow for this and one main restaurant. And here is another community center in the, uh, near the Da Nang in the center of Vietnam. And we, we, we designed whole project with many villas and five-star hotel, but we decided to, to, you know, to make the whole green for the, for, the, for the project, especially for the community center. We try to use the material that is have less impact to the environment. And uh, this we use the bamboo and the, the pure bamboo structure, uh, which was tested by huge storm, three storm attack this building last year in near uh, at the center of, uh, and the client said, oh no, this time, they test our building by mm, historical strong storm. So if it collapse, it will be okay, no problem, because we never seen that storm uh, before. But it, um, I think the, this, the structural system here is by the unit and the uh, horizontal supporting is deal with the storm very well. You can see here, and then the we install the air condition air conditioner here, but in reality, because I do when I do the master plan, I locate it in the the at the end of the canal connect to the river, so we almost don't use the air conditioning during the some hot summer because the uh, roof layout is really good for insulation and the ventilation here is work quite well. Here you can see the canal, uh, uh, canal, and then the swimming pool, and we put it on the, like, on the hill, under with the gym or uh, office, many facility, and rooftop with the community house there. And another, um, because I started my office in 2006, it's about like, a, like a 15, 16 years ago when the Vietnamese uh, start to develop uh, uh, fast. And I mean, at that time, we, the, um, we don't have much architecture at that time. I think so, the, uh, and the construction quality is not still, uh, uh, still not really uh, at good at now. So we try to use anything around that area and make it simple, easy, and then the people can be familiar with the, uh, uh, with the, uh, construction process because they make this kind of stone in uh, their house. So th what I have done is uh, make them more precise and we tested for the 
the the bamboo detail is just one simple uh, detail at the rooftop, and every detail almost same, and the connection between the uh, uh, bamboo with the floor and the bamboo to the bamboo on top and the bamboo to the core, um, the core uh, uh, structure is around and support for a uh, horizontal forces uh, by the core stone uh, VIP room and the main restaurant space in the, in the middle. And yes, only one, one detail, the easy for the like uh, farmer, farmer, we hire farmer to do the work, to be the worker and we test with one and then we cop, uh, copy it to many uh, 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 unit. And uh, yes, um, this is another building I have done in the South Island of Vietnam. It's about more than 1,000 square meter. It's a welcoming pavilion for Hughes uh, master plan. And this, uh, the function is just for the welcoming, the people coming here and then they go to the... Uh, and the structure system here is a little bit complicated uh, because the, it consists of the dome, two dome inside, like a lot of chef and the grid system around and the corridor by the, uh, 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 and uh, it's hard to deal with the detail here because many system of structure inside this and it need to be very precise with the grid, grid uh, system around to make the, but I never been there. Uh, this a uh, the the two dome and the grid system and the R system, the structural system around and the brace we install for making the roof and the space inside. the corridor and the light through the building is softly. And you can see the brace system to enable to make the cantilever for the uh, uh, roof outside. And the roof, this is the dome. So um, I will show you the video Please turn on the video of this. We build the unit frame for the dome inside. dome inside first. There are two dome and the corridor and we start to install the grid around. We use the bamboo nail. and the thatch roof. Grease system around.
um, I would like to explain more a bit about um, our, oh, the way we do almost, almost of the project I introduced you there. I never been during the construction or design process. I had been meditating in Myanmar for three years. So if, even I want to go to the construction site or meet client, it was impossible. So about climate change or crisis in the world, I think because we have many destruction, many number, many thinking in your mind, in our mind. So that's why, you know, only always cannot be focused. So uh, the way we are doing is uh, we meditate, like I meditate many hours per day, and then just work like about 30 minutes per day for uh, uh, designing. And then, for example, this project, I never been to even see the site or during the construction. That's why I can, but what I mean is uh, the, about meditation, about maintaining the five precepts. The only way we can solve the problem now is not, is about finding some um, technique, uh, technical solution, but about solving the problem in your mind, in our mind, is by uh, maybe be calm, uh, be uh, uh, more focused, and reduce the, um, the, the uh, wandering mind, thinking inside, and then it makes the, the misunderstanding between people and people, misunderstanding between you and client. That's why you need to work very hard at an architect, like many hours per day. And even when we, we cannot focus well, and then we have a lot of anxiety, you have a lot of conflict in your mind. That's why the war happened like in Ukraine or, or, or Russia now, or everywhere in the world. So uh, in our company, we encourage, uh, we require staff to meditate an hour every hour, uh, every morning, one hour before uh, working. And we maintain the five precepts, like not, not lying, no alcohol, no uh, uh, stealing, no uh, sexual misconduct, and no killing. And then if everyone do so, we don't have war, we don't have any uh, big problem happen in the world. So the way is we try to solve problem is not like by making green architecture or some stupid thing like that, but to solve the conflict in your mind first. I think so. Thank you very much.